Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be a discussion about how to decide who you should six star and when to do it. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so one of the most common questions ever in this game that I see posted on different forums and uh, in the comment sections of my videos is should I six star this champion or when should I six star somebody? Should I invest in this champion or not? What level should I upgrade this champion to? So it, it's such a big decision on who to six star that I wanted to dedicate a video to kind of what the thought process should be and when you should do it and all that to kind of, you know, hopefully give people some clarity on the decision because once you sit a uh, six star champion that is permanent they can't be fed into anybody else and it is a massive investment depending on your efficiency and where you're farming and if you have the ten dollar a month raid pass and if you're using double xps and all that depending on that it's anywhere between like six thousand to sixteen thousand energy spent to farm up enough food to six star a champion so um, and, that, and that's kind of me like loosely thinking about it. It could that that might not be exact, but it's somewhere around like the ten thousand energy mark um, from what I've kind of estimated in terms of the average person's expense to invest into a hero to six star. So today is a big day for me because I'm going to six star my first champion. Now, one thing that I will openly admit, um, my mistake is that I probably didn't six star a champion soon enough. I was super worried about making a mistake and six starring the wrong champ that i've kind of been waiting to do it and just kind of developing spreading myself out a little bit too thin i've got a lot of rares that are level 40 that i don't even use i've got a lot of kind of levels that are sitting unused so if i were to start over again i would six star a champion sooner than i mean i'm level 51 and i would definitely six star your first six sooner than I am. So I'm admitting that's a mistake. If I had to do over again, I would six star someone sooner. But in terms of at this point, deciding who to six star, I'm gonna kind of walk you through the thought process on who to choose. So when you are choosing who to six star, I would recommend it be primarily someone who's going to be used in the campaign. Somebody that you're gonna be using to farm XP. That's probably the most important thing for you to establish off the bat. So your first six star should ideally be someone who's really good at the campaign and ideally someone who can farm stage 12 or at least stage 11. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when we look at stage 12, the levels we wanna farm are gonna be 12-3 or 12-6. 12-3 is slightly more silver, 12-6 uh, is slightly more XP. Now, this means, um, I should I should pull it up. Instead of just talking about it and assuming um, that people can follow me, I should pull it up. When we go to the campaign, and we go to stage 12, which is where the most silver and XP is per energy, we can see here that it's mainly spirit. We're on brutal, and it's mainly spirit foes. And even down here at stage 6, we've got magic, but I believe it switches to spirit heroes after that. I have to run it to be sure, but I like to maximize my silver at this stage in the game because I love to spend it on artifacts and buying things that I see that are good in the market so my goal right now is to get to a point where I can farm 12-3 uh, and we see that's mostly spirit so my way of thinking is I want to six star a champion that is either void or magic affinity so now going back to my champions I'm going to pick Aethel as my first six star and um, I debated between Aethel, Relic Keeper, Bellower, and Kale. All solid choices. All are going to get you pretty good value out of being a 6-star. The reason I went with Aethel in the end is because she's going to be able to be used mostly anywhere. She's good in these spider dens. She's good in a lot of the dungeons. She's uh, end game viable versus the clan boss she's really good in the campaign so i can get a lot of value from her in a multitude of different areas if i six star the relic keeper as my first one i'm iffy on him being able to farm 12 3 is easy because he's force and those enemies are going to be spirit and i'm iffy on bringing him to the clan boss end game and um he, he's not going to have as much utility i do think he would be worth it and i would get value just i'm leaning towards aethel 
and Kale would also be a good choice for similar reasons to um, Aethel, but Kale isn't really going to bring me more value immediately versus the clan boss because his damage is based off of his poison and me six starring him. Yeah, he's going to live a little bit longer, but it's not going to be like some crazy increase in his damage. Um, he would probably do well in the campaign just as well as Aethel, but that was the call was between Aethel or Kale and the fact that I haven't invested in the skill tomes yet to make Kale maxed out. But Aethel, I did. I got Aethel a little bit sooner, so I maxed her out. I have all of her skills maxed out. She's already 5-star Ascension, so there's really no further investment required from me. I can 6-star her, and I'm ready to go. I can use her in the arena, endgame versus the clan boss. She'll do good in the campaign. I also thought about Bellower, but it's kind of the same thing as Kale. I'm not going to be using Bellower against the clan boss really at all, whereas at least with Kale, I do use him against the clan boss. So he's going to be mainly like arena and campaign and some dungeons. So Aethel is the one that I've already kind of checked all the boxes. I've, I've invested in the skill books. I've invested in the ascensions. I can use her in the arena. I can use her in the campaign. And she's end game viable against the clan boss. So with all those boxes being checked, that's why I'm going with Aethel as my first six star. And I'll actually go ahead and do it right here live on video. It's automatically going to pull up Aethel, upgrade rank, and let's make our first 6-star. And another thing I do want to point out is, I don't know if this is intentional or if this is kind of interesting, but when we make a 6-star, if you notice down here on the bottom right, we've got a locked slot. Does that mean that they're going to release 7-star heroes at some point in the near future? It could. Um, otherwise, why would they display this box at all? Why not just center these two on the right and call it a day? Or maybe they just wanted it to look symmetrical. So they put three boxes on this side, three boxes on this side, and even though this box is never going to mean anything, they just lock it. Something to think about. I think they're probably going to release seven star heroes at some point. That's just kind of my conjecture, but yeah. All right. Upgrade. All right, and there it is. And we see that gave us a completed challenge here that gave us 50k so yeah all right well now i know what i'm doing the rest of the day i'm gonna go uh <laughs> level up my aethel and and get her crack into six stars so yeah let me know if you have any questions down in the comments i'll do my best to help you out and as always have a good rest of your day thanks for watching peace